Hi guys, welcome to another episode of That Skin Geek. Today we are going to learn how to make this amazing and lovely under eye dark circle cream. So the star ingredients of this particular formulation is lactic acid and almond oil. So lactic acid helps with lightening your dark circles while almond oil is rich in vitamin E which will help with the antioxidant benefits as well as it will improve the skin around your eyes. So which will help you to um, speed up the procedure to get rid of those dark circles. Also, it will help fight any sort of fine lines, wrinkles and puffiness around the eyes. So this cream has a really amazing texture. And there you go. The absorbency of this product is really amazing. So, without any further ado, let's start making. Okay, to begin with the making procedure, we are going to set up our table and I'm going to walk you through with our ingredients and then we're going to make our lovely dark circles curing eye cream so starting with I have some distilled water over here then I have some rose water here so this is basically rose hydrosol so rose is known for its soothing benefits hence this will help with soothing and calming any sort of inflammation which is there around our eyes then I have some glycerine so glycerine is an amazing humectant which will actually help hold moisture in our skin and glycerine is one of the best and easily available humectant. To increase the hydration properties, I am going to add some sodium lactate. Sodium lactate is again a lovely humectant and it is made out of lactic acid so it is a lactic acid salt. So it will also give some brightening properties which is amazing for dark circles. Next we have some niacinamide. Niacinamide is known for its healing properties which will help heal any form of uh, uh, scars or tissue damage which is there around our eyes especially with dark circles. It is also known to reduce the inflammation and scars. So dark circles can be reduced if you use niacinamide. The star of this formulation is 2% lactic acid which is going to give lightening effect since lactic acid is an AHA which means it will help lighten the pigmentation around the eyes. Also it will help fight the signs of aging. Next I have some DL panthenol. DL panthenol will help with the healing and repairing properties DL panthenol is also known for its antioxidant benefits so it will help uh, your skin to regain and hold its moisture as well as fight against free radicals up next is our almond oil almond oil is again our star ingredient almond oil is known for its antioxidant benefits and it is rich in vitamin e and vitamin e is something which is very good for your eyes especially for wrinkles so if you are someone who is in your 30s or you are beginning to uh, apply some home care around your eyes vitamin e uh, is the topmost product that comes in our mind hence almond oil is the best option for an eye cream to make this formulation le less sticky we have some capital capital triglycerides so these are basically this is basically coconut oil which has been removed uh, of its long chain triglycerides and the medium chain triglycerides are left behind so yeah, this is going to help with the texture because I don't want this particular product to be very greasy since it won't be easy and comfortable for the eyes to apply something which is very heavy and greasy. So last emollient and nourishing agent in our eye cream is some butter mixture. So this was actually a body butter experiment which I did 
back in winters of 2022 but uh, i just wanted to you know use this product somewhere so it is a nice blend of cocoa butter shea butter and stuff so i'm using a very wee bit amount of this and i'll link to this video where i have made this body butter so you can check out the ingredients and stuff for my emulsifier i'm going to use some peg 100 stearate and glycerol stearate it is also known as insta lotion and this lovely product is a gift from chemical cocktails i'll also add a link to their instagram page and you can dm them and order this and this is a emulsifier which does not thicken so i can actually control the uh, viscosity of my product so that's the reason i am opting for this one because i don't want my eye product to be tacky or very greasy or sticky so to thicken the formulation i'm going to use some hec and it is known as hydroxy ethyl cellulose so this particular thickener it is basically a gelling agent so i just want this recipe to have a nice jelly uh, lightweight feel but it should also feel like a lotion or a cream so that's the reason i'm using hec because it makes very lightweight and very good and luxury feeling gels while my emulsifier peg 100 stearate and glycerol stearate it will help with the emulsification procedure without actually thickening my product so that was about it for the product introduction and now let's move forward to the making part to begin with the making procedure i have a beaker this is a borosilicate beaker uh, and uh, in this i have a, a certain amount of water so this is a 100 gram batch and I'm taking 28 grams of water. So the recipe calls for 28% of distilled water. To this, I'm going to add my 30% of rose hydrosol. Then I'm going to add my 4% niacinamide. Then I'm going to add my humectant which is my 10% of glycerine. Then I'm going to add my second humectant which is sodium lactate and I'm using 4% of sodium lactate. Then 2% of lactic acid which is my star ingredient as it is going to help with the dark circles and fine lines around the eyes. Next, I'm going to add 2% of Dale Panthenol, which is an amazing antioxidant. Now I'm going to hand mix them very nicely. So as you can see, our niacinamide is not uh, mixed here. So it requires heat to get mixed with water. Hence, we require to add this mixture in our double boiler. So now for my heated oil phase, I'm taking a 500 ml borosilicate beaker. I'm starting with 4% of almond oil, which is again the star ingredient. Then I'm going to add 6% of capital capital triglycerides. There's a huge blog post there on the website. I'll add the link to this particular ingredient. You can go and check it out. It has tons of extra knowledge about this ingredient. Now I'm going to add my body butter mix. And as I told you earlier, I'm going to add the link to my body butter video in the description below. below. So after adding 2.5% of body uh, butter blend, I'm adding my Insta lotion which is 4% in the recipe and this is my non-thickening all natural emulsifier. There's also a blog post about this particular recipe. I'll also add that in the description box down below. Now for my thickening, I'm going to add my HEC which stands for hydroxyethylcellulose. And the recipe calls for 2% of HEC 
and I'm going to add my HEC in my heated oil phase. Although it is a water soluble ingredient but I'm adding it in my heated oil phase just to allow it mix very nicely when I actually blend my ingredients. So now I'm going to pot, pop both of these in a double boiler. Before doing that what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure weigh this one and uh, so that in case if there's any water loss during double boiling due to evaporation I can substitute that water. For the purpose of double boiling all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pan and I'm going to pour, pop my face in this and this pan contains about an inch of water and that's about it I'm going to pop this on my stove and it is going to melt so you don't need to boil it you all you need to do is to melt all the ingredients so that it they are mixed properly similarly for your heated water phase you are just supposed to warm it so that all the ingredients are mixed nicely after five minutes of double boiling all my heated oil phase ingredients have been melted and the residue you see down here it is basically our hydroxyethyl cellulose so it hasn't been hydrated it will only hydrate once it comes with contact of water so when I'm going to mix my heated water phase with my heated oil phase it is going to hydrate and plump up so now it's time to mix our phases together always remember you're supposed to pour your heated water phase in your heated oil phase not the other way around so I'm just going to glide it down through the spatula so I'm just going to hand mix it a bit So I have noticed that blending and hand mixing together gives a really nice consistency to the products. So now I'm going to use my emulsion blender. This is Agaro emulsion blender and it has an 800 volt of motor which is really good for making creams and emulsified products. So I'm going to start with some short blends, burst. After 10 minutes of hand blending and mixing with an emulsion blender, it is somewhat thickened and it is cool enough for us to add our cool down phase ingredients. The oil and some liquid Jomal Plus. So liquid Jomal Plus is a broad spectrum preservative which will help uh, this formulation to last longer as this formulation contains water. So it is really important to add a good broad spectrum preservative. So I hope the preservative and the vitamin E oil is vis visible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just pop a dollop here from the parent batch I'm going to hand mix it here nicely and then I'm going to pop it back in the parent batch If you want you can add any essential oil or fragrance oil but around the eyes I would recommend use only FDA approved fragrance oils so now I'm going to give this some nice mix so it is still it still has a long way to go because it hasn't hydrated that well it still has some uh, HEC granules if you can see on the spatula 
so it will take somewhere around 24 hours to hydrate but since it will thicken up and I won't be able to package it so I'm going to package it right now so here I have this 30 ml airless pump top bottle so I'm going to just pour it in my airless pump top bottle these bottles are also I got it from I think uh, chemical cocktails I believe I bought them last year lockdown May and they have been a great help to me I also keep ingredients like sucra gel and my pretty expensive ingredients which I order in less quantity in these pump top bottles and since it is an airless pump top bottle the chances of contamination of this product is very less so here so here I have this label which I'm going to put so it, I've just mentioned here dark circle eye cream 2% lactic acid because I have a tendency to forget so I'm just going to add this label here so that I can remember what product it is and that's about it so you can see that it is still thickening up and yeah so for some application demo so I'm gonna let it set for like 24 hours then I'm gonna shoot one but still just gonna show you its absorbency is amazing there you go and this is not just an eye cream you can definitely apply it all over your face but yeah the ingredients that we have used they work really wonders on dark circles but if you have pigmented skin and some some very light blemishes you can definitely apply this on all over your face so thank you so much uh, for watching this video in case you have any queries you can write them down in the chat box or you can connect with me on my website also on instagram and do if you like this video do give it give a thumbs up and any more suggestions are welcome